Thank you for joining us for another episode of Rams TV, brought to you by Desjardins Securities. My name is Carlin Haraf, and I will be speaking today with Taylor Wandler, Austin Bates, and head coach Frank McChrystal. Joining me now is Taylor Wandler. Taylor, uh, you played as the kicker punter this past week against Manitoba and Regina. I understand it was a bit of a game time decision. Can you tell me how you felt going into that game on Friday? Uh, to be honest, I was feeling uh, quite sick. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was expecting it at some point, but to take on all the duties of kicking and punting, I was a little bit nervous for. Um, didn't really eat after I found out. <laughs> Um, what did your coaches say to you before you went onto the field? You had a couple hours to warm up. Did you get any good tips out of anybody? Uh, Larry and Yao's were with me the whole time, and they were being very supportive and helping me along the whole way. Um, Yao'sy did tell me like that we're lucky to even have me there. I was really nervous about punting, which kind of showed in the game. I think uh, there were some good ones and some bad ones, and you know. It just all kind of comes and goes, so. That's good. So <laughs> you were pretty busy in the punting game, eight kicks, uh, about a 32-yard average, but it was a bit of a windy night. And how did you feel with the field goals? You went three for five. Um, you know, once I put the first one through, it started to get a little bit easier. Um, I mean, in practice here, I haven't really done any short field goals, so when it came time to do a 20-yard field goal, I was kind of feeling the pressure because the angle is a lot more intense than I thought it would be. You are heading into a bye week on a two-game win streak. What is the mood in the locker room like with the guys right now, and what do you guys focus on going into your next game? Um, you know, it's uh, definitely winning is better than losing. Uh, we definitely are on a high note. Um, I mean, some of the guys are pretty grounded, and they know there's a lot of work to be done yet. and. Uh, we're focused on, on making the playoffs and hopefully making a run deep here. Joining me now is third year linebacker Austin Bates. Austin, congratulations on your big game and your win last Friday against Manitoba. Um, can you tell me how you feel coming off of a game five and a half tackles, one sack and one interception? Um, it was a very big confidence booster for me. I thought I played pretty well at the same time. I thought I played uh, one of my worst games actually tackling. I missed a few tackles and missed a few assignments. You wouldn't see it on the stats board, but that's what actually happened. The interception came with about four minutes left and kind of put the nail in the coffin of that game. Can you go over that play with me? Actually, on this play, it was one of the times I believe I dropped the uh, wrong way. I was supposed to drop to the running back and didn't. I dropped to the strong side instead of the weak side. Ended up helping me out though. I was in the right place at the right time and made the play for the team, so it felt good. It was really good. So coming off the win, two in a row now heading into the bye week, what will you be working on um, as an individual and with your fellow defense and your team as a, as a whole? Um, as an individual, my assignments on every single play. Uh, we Every single guy on the defense has an assignment every single play, and if we all execute our assignment, then it's virtually unstoppable. So. We're going to do that as a defense and as an individual, obviously. Um, our goal is to keep winning. We have to win to get to the playoffs, so we're going to keep winning. As part of a defense that has had to step up in the absence of some of your offensive stars, what have you had to do differently maybe in preparation? Um, all week we, we work on uh, little things as well as the big picture. Uh, we try to pursue to the ball all week long and also make plays on the ball so we're able to score points and uh, get it back to our offense as fast as possible. We want two and outs every game. Uh, we try to get that first two and out the first time we're on the field. And uh, yeah, it's just little things are going to uh, turn into wins for us and that's how we're going to do it. Okay, that's great. Thanks so much for taking a minute to talk with me. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. I'm joined now by head coach Frank McChrystal. Uh, Frank, congratulations on another win here against Manitoba last Friday. Can you tell me about uh, how you prepared for that game and how the guys responded to the week of practice? Well, it was really a, a pivotal game for us, as really all the rest of them are going to be. Uh, they're a big physical team. Uh, they're very athletic and certainly very aggressive. What we did is very much the same as we did against Alberta, prepared, you know, we were a, a series at a time, a play at a time, a quarter at a time, and it sort of sounds like like I said before, cliche, but it really 
is what it's all about. And I mean, the advantage that we had is that we had a game under Zach Olnick's belt, so that made him one game four quarters better. Great. Your defense also stepped up a lot of guys making big plays when it mattered, forced fumbles, a couple interceptions. Did you say anything special to them going in? No, not really. I, I you know, I think it's it's almost. Um, a bit of a fallacy that that the coach is a raw raw thing. I, I think what you have to do is be practical and be straightforward and, and honest with the guys. And and what we did is we prepared them well. I think we prepared them well, uh, certainly mentally, but also physically, just to prepare to play the game. And uh, defensively, we had our defensive front in, in the right gaps. Uh, you know, Keem Hicks had a great game for us and probably the best game that he's had since he's played here. Uh, we also had our linebackers that were settling in and doing some really good things. And and the, and and when you have pressure up front and people in their gaps, it also helps out the defensive backs to defend the pass too. Great. Uh, no rest for these guys. It's the bye week, but everybody's out at practice already. Uh, what will you be working on specifically this week, knowing that you have a few extra days to practice? Well, I think it, it's a little bit of a break. You know, you're not quite as intense, uh, and, and it gives an opportunity for some of the guys to heal up because it is it is pretty intense, and it is a pretty physical league that we're playing in and a game, so that the games that we play in. Uh, so we shorten up the practice a little bit, uh, concentrate on fundamentals, try to have a little bit of fun, you know, get things like the team picture done and and uh, maybe some um, uh, team functions, some camaraderie, those types of, uh, types of things that we try to build during this week. Can you talk about any injuries to guys that you have that you're hoping will be back by our, your next game? Well, we have upper body injuries and lower body injuries, so uh, we don't we don't have anybody that we've lost. Uh, you know, some of the guys that were banged a little bit, like uh, Bent and Jenny. We you know we're not playing him very much this week. He's out here wandering around, and some of the other guys with ankle sprains. They, you know, some of those little achy things that last right through the season. Uh, we're just giving those guys a break, but pretty much everybody else, especially some of the young guys that haven't played. You know, we've got them out here doing most of the running. Okay, great. Uh, your next game is in two weekends at UBC. Can you talk about what you'll be focusing on next week in preparation for them? Well, very much the same as we did the first week. And, you know, I think we got set back a little bit, losing Mark in the first series of that game. And we didn't recover as well as we should have and could have. Uh, they're, they're very good offensively. They've got a good running back. They've got some receivers. They've got a very good quarterback. And we need to be able to defend that. And I think defend their quarterback as much as anything. Not only does he throw well, but he runs well. Um, offensively, you know, we're going to have to be able to run the ball again. And, and we did a pretty good job of running the ball. I think um, Adrian had almost 200 yards rushing in that game. So, you know, we, we want to run the ball, but we're hopeful that we're going to be able to pass the ball a little better. And, you know, going into, I guess, what would be game six from game one, where we should be better at that, maybe having settled in on who our quarterback is. That's great. Um, well, good luck. Enjoy the camaraderie over the next couple of weeks, and I'll talk to you again soon. Okay. Thanks, Frank. Thanks. Thanks for watching Rams TV once again, brought to you by Desjardins Securities. The Rams are on a bye week this week, but they prepare to face UBC Thunderbirds on Saturday, October 15th. Stay tuned.